I, Scott John Morrison, do swear. Australia is introduced to another new Prime Minister, brought to power not in a popular vote, but rather installed by colleagues in a party ballot, facing a tough job. To ensure that we not only bring our party back together, which has been bruised and battered this week. Traditional grandson, here he is, is Jack. Malcolm Turnbull became Prime Minister when he pushed out his predecessor Tony Abbott in 2015. Now Turnbull is the latest Australian leader to leave before the end of his term. Australians will be just dumbstruck and so appalled by the conduct of the last week. He blames a campaign of what he calls insurgents within his party and outside it who wanted to see the moderate Prime Minister replaced with the more conservative Peter Dutton. As Minister for Immigration, Dutton was known for his hardline enforcement of the country's policy of sending asylum seekers to overseas prison camps. He first challenged Turnbull in a leadership contest on Tuesday and lost. He then demanded another vote on Friday, saying this time he had the support to win and Turnbull didn't run as a candidate. How the insurgents were not rewarded by electing Mr Dutton, for example, but instead the, my successor, who I wish the very best, of course, Scott Morrison, a very loyal and effective treasurer. Like Dutton, Morrison was once immigration minister in charge of controversial asylum policies. He had backed Turnbull to remain prime minister before Friday's vote. There's been a lot of talk this week about whose side people are on in this building. And what Josh and I are here to tell you, as the new generation of liberal leadership, is we're on your side. Australians are generally unhappy with what they see as a revolving door system of leadership. Scott Morrison now faces the difficult task of uniting his party before facing the Australian public in a federal election in less than a year. Before that, Morrison's government, which has a majority of just one seat, is likely to have another electoral test. Malcolm Turnbull says he'll leave Parliament soon, triggering a by-election for his electorate. Kathy Novak, Al Jazeera, Sydney.